So hello everyone, in this video I will be explaining the problem check if number is a sum of powers of 3 and this is a really easy problem like if you do it using recursion and the approach I am going to tell you and the code I am writing is going to be really easily understandable and very much intuitive okay so it won't be involving any complex mathematics or knowledge that you need some observation I will be doing exactly what the problem has asked me to do so the problem is basically saying that I have been given a number and I have to tell it whether that number can be written as a uh, sum of distinct power of threes okay so I will just code it and explain it along with you along while coding so what I did during the contest what I made a int variable int x is equal to 1 so I, I, my mission is just to reduce this n for example if n was 0 or n was 3 then my answer would have been true that yes 3 can be written as a uh, power of 3 okay so I will start from int x is equal to 1. So basically what this re x represents is a power of uh, 3. Okay. So now I will return a function called solve. Solve will have two parameters n comma x. Okay. Now what I will I will write this function uh, bool solve int n comma int x okay so this is going to be a recursive function as i will try to repeatedly reduce this n to smaller numbers okay so uh, as we know that any recursive function has two conditions base condition and the choices okay so first i will write the choices so what the choices are going to be that i will write a while loop while x is less than equal to n okay so suppose like n is 91 so i can i will try it to see which is a best fit i will try 3 raised to 0 3 square 3 4 3 raised to 4 or 3 raised to 5 as long as x is less than n so what i will do at every uh, x if it is less than n i will recursively uh, like direct it to another uh, this function so i will write solve uh, solve n minus x comma x raise x into 3 uh, if solve is equal to true then i will return true so basically what i am uh, doing here is that uh, just let me show it on paint uh, let it be new uh, don't save so what i am going to do here is that i suppose i write 91 here now what I will do is that I will minus 91 minus 3 is that 3 raised to 0 so it will become 90 okay now since I have used this 3 raised to 0 once I can't use this 3 raised to 0 again okay so what I will do uh, beyond this I will try if uh, if 90 minus 3 raised to say 1 or 3 raised to 2 can is can this result be true like if i go this way can i reduce it to at the end zero i can write it as a sum of three so this is what i am going to do that's why i have written it x into three okay so you know this will just for example in 12 what i will do is 12 minus say 3 it will become 9 and then 9 minus 3 square it will become 0 so this means that this and this is going to add up to make 12 okay so this was my main idea so if this returns 3 then i will return true if this doesn't then what i will do is that i will increment my x so x will become x into 3 yeah, i will raise the power and if i don't get a uh, true from doing all these operations i am going to return false okay so for example during 12 what initially i would have done was 12 minus 1 okay so 12 minus 1 will be make it 11 now from 11 i will subtract like 3 raised to power 1 2 3 raised to power something 2 or 3 so that's what i am doing and in the end in the end if this becomes n becomes 0 it means that i have found the perfect match so base condition is going to be really simple if n is equal to 0 then i will return true so you know that's the code for you like this is really simple i don't know if i did a good job explaining it but if you see this code it will be quite clear now let's run it uh, i just came back to college today so let's why is it taking so much time it's true now let's run it so it's 100 percent faster so okay so it is a pretty nice solution okay so uh, let me just explain it again so this is really simple what i am going to do is that i am going to subtract x from n and 
carry on with this idea <laughs> so and my, like I will multiply x into 3 as I go into another recursive call because I have to use so for example if once I have used 3 raised to 1 I won't be again subtracting some power of 3 raised to 1 I will go to 3 raised to 2 that's why I have done this x into 3 so you know if you like this video like the solution please subscribe uh, the channel so thank you and have a great day